Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 1, Episode 15. Let's watch the episode. They're fighting robots? Yeah, they kind of do this majority of the time. Whoa, this town's more interesting than I thought. <laughs> He's gonna try to show off. Cause, see? Relax, Mikey. Uh, what the heck was that? Yeah, you trying to impress? Raph knows what is happening. They were. What is it, Raph? I thought I saw something. What about you, Leo? Did you see something? No. Turtles first, right? Turtles first. <laughs> you feel like we're missing something? Oh yeah, you're missing a, a yeah. Oh, they tell me we we'll be missing something. The enemy, Leo. You take them down. No, you're wrong about her. She has a good side. Oh yeah. Well, if that's what you're doing, why don't you go tell the others? Because they wouldn't understand. You really think Mikey and Donnie wouldn't understand? Mikey? You really think Donnie would? <laughs> I don't know why they always say, even in serious moment, they always put Mikey like he's dumb or something like that. You have to trust me. Why should I? What is going on in here? Training. Uh, nothing important. Right? You know, the building blocks of life? Okay, DNA is a microscopic blueprint that tells every living thing what to grow. And you, yeah, I was going to ask that. You'd think you'd have learned by now. <laughs> Everyone in our class is sending a DNA sample to this research group, the Worldwide Genome Project. Then they'll send us back a report telling us all about our ancestors. Anymore. Raphael says I can't trust you. He makes a good point. Eventually, I am going to destroy you. <laughs> He's just being honest. I don't think you are. <laughs> really? And what do you think this is? Ah, uh, flirting. It's a cry for help. Yeah, you're just flattering with each other right now at this moment. Our way out of the foot plan, and I can help you. <laughs> you're adorable. Stupid, but adorable. Really? You, you think I'm- yeah! Send Flint out. Come with me. Uh, where exactly? We're going to a place where I will present your DNA test results. Come with me. See, that's just a robot like. Your name was again? I'm Miss Campbell from the Worldwide Genome Project. I'm here to present your DNA test results. Right. I gotta go. Come with me. She's no longer hiding and eating that she's a robot. As about her? No need. We had a little chat, and uh, she's gonna leave us alone. Oh, right. Because villains always back off when you ask them to. Maybe I'll text the Krang and ask them to stop mutating. <laughs> you know, this time Rafael is almost right about everything, you know. Guys, what do you want? Omelet pizza or pizza omelet? What's the difference? Okay, you call my bluff. Hey, did you guys just get a mass text from April? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, does yours also say she's being attacked by an old lady? Sure does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that considered an emergency? I guess. Let's go! Sweet. So this is what school is like. <laughs> So he always deals with every problem. April's got to learn the T phones are for emergencies only. A A April O'Neil? Ah, uh, <laughs> sewer bunnies. <laughs> Leo, I think this does count as an a emergency. I know her. Oh. April, where are you? And stay down. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, it's nice to always have, you know. 
welcome. He would protect you. So what the heck is that thing? It looks like a Krang droid. Minus the Krang. She said she was from the Worldwide Genome Project. You know, for a human lab, this place is awfully Krangy. Guys, I think the Krang are the Worldwide Genome Project. Uh, yeah. Stop <laughs> it! Okay, what the heck is Yeah, it's it's a bad it's a bad for you it's a bad time for you to know. Do we know her? So this is the stuff that turns people into monsters, huh? How's it work? Why don't you lean in a little closer and I'll show you? Enough! The help that has been requested by Krang. We're trapped! No. You're trapped. What happens if I do this? No. no don't do that! Highly undesirable outcome. Well, now I gotta. <laughs> hey, she's just gonna leave. I think I remember this. She ain't gonna help with these monsters. What? Uh -huh. You're so cute. Not anymore. He's funny, he, he is right though. So guys, we all fans of Karai yet? I don't know who she is, but I know I hate her! Octo Eyeball Jellybug! Nope. Uh, let's just call him Justin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Right. It is my fault. Ah! Ha! Take that, Justin! Come on, let's get out of here! Yeah, he's no longer swords. His swords are gone. Oh, somehow you you got them big. Buddy, should start talking. I should have told you about Karai sooner, but I, I really thought there was a... Huh? Leonardo, you are not the first young man, or turtle, to make a fool of yourself over a girl. What about Don? <laughs> I don't do it. I was about to say that. The employee of your enemy. That is an error you cannot afford. Hi, Sensei. Deception is the ninja's most powerful weapon. And it seems Karai is... <laughs> Hey, bro. I'm glad you came to your senses. You were right. I don't know what I was thinking. I can see how you think she's hot. In an evil kind of a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry. I am so over. No, no. We all know that he is not. Oh, this is too good. I could have watched this forever. Go! <laughs> Chase! Ah, the robots. I've seen them up close. They call themselves the Krang. I told you I am not interested in this robot fiction. I will hear no more of this. I think this is how they control their robot bodies. I don't know. Maybe you can use it? This is exactly the sort of neural transmission interface I've been trying to develop. Okay, so that is episode 15 of the Ninja Turtles, and 
yeah it's an amazing approach i mean it's obvious but this one it it expands because when we last saw the karai in the last episode you know i was expecting not to see in this episode i was expecting like after two or three episodes it was the kind of thing that they usually do when it comes to characters like if a new character appears in the episode then there's a chance that they there's a high chance that they're not gonna appear in the next episode but this time we have two episodes where Kara shows up it will be even awesome if she shows up in the third episode but i highly doubt it because the way they ended with this episode with uh leo saying that okay i'm no longer into Kara anymore well we know that is false but it's just like Kara has done everything she can to make sure that leo doesn't trust the anymore trust it yeah anymore so yeah i think we know that the, uh, because of that there's a, no chance that they're gonna make an episode with Kara in the next one so i think uh we are not gonna see in the next episode but as for this episode you know the storyline it's mostly about leo again with Kara, but you know also about it to give you a uh, extra two men i think that's is it because or uh, the, the fish guy uh has some legs you know because he obviously is a fish therefore he only stays in water but they need to develop some sort of a technology that will make him come out of the water and fight and actually be useful to shredder and you know you, this guy uh he's not being he, he's not able to to make something that is useful to, to this fishman and that's where Kara comes into play with the robot. She kind of go to back and you know they kind of find a way. To, they're gonna find a way to give him some legs, some robot legs. So yeah, we're gonna see him fighting the turtles again. Somehow, a fish out of water, still be breathing. That's good. Cool. Now, the others, the storyline, the main storyline is obviously about Kara and Leonardo, the trusting party to like do not trust you, the Raphael telling my uh leonardo not to trust you right and well when i mean obviously i like the relationship between leonardo and Kara. they're so different yet you can see them together sort of way it's different if you, you say Kara and rafael they have the same attitude it won't work but leo you know he's more patient and you know sort of a guy who gives his chances and, and all that you know whereas Kara is kind of the opposite the whole more rough vision of you know so yeah it's something that i'm really interested in seeing we know the relationship is gonna be developed in the new seasons or until the season if the entire series ends we're gonna see the relationship be growing and growing and growing and showing a vulnerability side of Karai. and i think i'm really excited to seeing that part plays out i know that it's not going to happen in this season and also the story about you know Karai finding out that you know he actually a real father is actually master splinter yeah it's also nice to see now this episode we can kind of get a glimpse of una shredder using lying i guess uh to cry about uh, what i really happened you know he does say remember what he, uh you know the name of master splinter for what it is it's a little bit difficult to keep in our brain because that's what he always been said in the episodes so yeah it's just He's lying to you and feeling it with the rage so that she he wants <laughs> he wants it to kill her own father. That's basically what he wants, you know. Or we'll start with the, the turtles first, then we'll go to Master Spin and kill him because why not? It's just evil so that is nice to see but the, the journey that comes into play like recognizing that oh this person that I've been calling father for all these years is actually he is actually the bad guy the one who's not my father the one piece the person who wanted to kill is actually my father and of course you know she's gonna have some doubts about this and all that but at the end of the day she's gonna actually say that it is the truth and yeah just it to read that it was post but yeah I'm really excited to see what I goes on in the next guys if you like my reaction make sure that you do leave a like subscribe comment and below what did you think about this episode and with that being said i'll see you in the next episode bye bye